Hi friends! So today we are going to be reading a brand new book and this book is called The Snowy Day. And the author, friends, the person that wrote all of the words you're going to see here in this book, his name is Ezra Jack Keats. The Snowy Day. This is the title of the book. One winter morning, Peter woke up and looked out the window. Snow had fallen during the night. It covered everything as far as he could see. After breakfast, he put on his snowsuit and ran outside. The snow was piled up very high along the street to make a path for walking. Crunch, 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 his feet sank into the snow. He walked with his toes pointing out like this. He walked with his toes pointing out like that. See, he's changing the direction of his toes. Then he dragged his feet slowly to make tracks, the tracks he made with his feet and he found something sticking out of the snow that made a new track. It was a stick. It's a stick he found right there. A stick that was just right for smacking a snow-covered tree. Ah! It's a lot of snow coming down. Down fell snow, plop, on top of Peter's head. Silly snow. There he is going home. He thought it would be fun to join the big boys in their snowball fight, but he knew he wasn't old enough. Not yet. So he made a smiling snowman. And he made angels. He pretended he was a mountain climber. He climbed up a great, big, tall, heaping mountain of snow. It's a big, big mountain. And slid all the way down. He picked up a handful of snow. And another. And another. He packed it round and firm and put the snowball in his pocket for tomorrow. Then he went into his warm house. He told his mother all about his adventures while she took off his wet socks. And thought and thought and thought about them. Before he got into bed, he looked in his pocket. His pocket was empty. The snowball wasn't there. He felt very sad. While he slept, he dreamed that the sun had melted the snow all away. But when he woke up, his dream was gone. The snow was still everywhere. New snow was falling. After breakfast, he called to his friend from across the hall, and they went out together into the deep, deep snow. The end. Wow, friends, this was such a great book, and I'm wondering what happened to the snowball. When Peter got home and reached into his pocket for the snowball that he packed round from the snow, it wasn't there. I'm wondering what happened to the snowball. I can't wait to find out. See you next time.